hard hit games. Viper, 37 feet short. Start from the Buffalo. I'll explain why in a minute. Jittery. Ah. Alright, so we're going to start with the buffalo because the buffalo, from what I've seen, uh, everything through practice yesterday. It's about three and two weaker than the purple hammer, but it's about two and one stronger than the pitch black. So the buffalo is going to allow me to play a little bit straighter for a little bit longer, hopefully. And then if I see a tight pair uh, where this ball just doesn't want to start going through the pins, then we'll go to the purple hammer if we have to. Until we, you know, get forced to go too far left, then we'll probably have to switch to reactive. But for right now. Being able to play that five, six, seven range. That one I got to the right and is still hooked off of it, so that's good news. Hopefully we can just make good shots, get through the jitters in the first game. I haven't bowled an event in a month, so first game jitters are always in play. Staying at a campsite this week, probably camper down. Camper to a campsite where it's got a couple different pools with some water slides and a park and everything for my boy. So we're out here. We're staying through Monday no matter what. So it's even if I don't make this cut, oh well, we got a couple days of camping. Yeah, that lane always does that. It's so slow. Oh, it's just slow. It'll well, slow. usually it's just slow, yeah, and then it'll eventually come. It just gets caught back there. Got my creating the difference towel. I will be wiping off bowling balls today because we want them to get started quicker. First 10 pin I've left. I didn't leave one all in practice. And, uh, that's frustrating. That's really frustrating. That's a pretty good shot. Face. Big bully. So we're bowling eight games, cutting to the top 16. There's two squads. And we, uh, the top four get two round by because it's a bracket match play. And then five through eight get a one round by. Nine through 16 have to bowl. First round. 8.30 in the morning. So, oh, trying to get those buys. First goal is just to make the cut. But 
but I like the way this buffalo is letting me stay straight. It gives me a little to the right, a little bit of the left, as long as I don't do anything crazy. She should be okay. to make a small move so we're gonna go one on one left and slow down a little bit should change the angle just enough and get closer to the pocket get closer to the pocket and hopefully it goes through a little bit better shot Too hard, that's for sure. Woo. Yikes. All right, maybe I didn't need to slow down. That one picked up nice. Very nice. Very nice. This is why I didn't miss bowling. This is how the game works. These things frustrate me. Have something like that uncontrollable happen, and you got to pay max penalty. literally nothing I can do about that. It's so annoying. See, it's that stuff. That makes me want to throw things. It makes me want to throw chairs. It's the uncontrollable variables that drive me crazy. You know, ten pins, whatever. Freaking stick and Uncontrollable circumstance, like things you can't deal, you can't do anything about. Cross me an open frame. So how do you get that back? Because that's not like, a, oh, he just threw it bad. It's not throwing it bad. 
that's throwing up there because of something that happens. That's what's on my See, it's frame five, I'm already frustrated. Frame six. Six frames in, I'm already annoyed. Like, I don't know what's different. It's all day in practice, this is exactly what I did. Ball struck every time. Yesterday. But today, all through warm-ups, same thing. Struck every time. Now all of a sudden I'm leaving 10 pins. Which tells me something's obviously different. It's not the ball. I mean, this one's not going through the pen, so I could move left and go to the purple hammer, but then what are the chances of the purple hammer? this wouldn't be so bad. Oh well. This is where the mentality comes in. Can't worry about that stuff. Got to go forward. This is where it's hard. Hard to stay focused. Still a little lazy. That one, I gotta get that one to drive just a little bit more. Maybe, I don't know, it's hard to say. Maybe my hand was getting around it a little bit more, which was making it start up a little too quick. I don't know. I'm trying to talk through it. None of it makes sense to me. <laughs> have a little side rotation, but it's got to be side rotation with low tilt. It's got to be going forward, side, side forward, like 50, 50 degrees at most. If 
you get it tilted up. I'm just gonna wait until it gets down lane to really start making its move, and that's where the flat wrap tens come from. Either behind the head pin or rolls out, it's dead. Get it started a little bit more. Go through the pins. Thank you. Interesting. That just makes me want to get just like a little bit closer to the dry. But I know if I do that, she might overhook four pin or four nine or something crazy. So I'll stay there. Might be able to just get a little softer there. But getting it down on the lane quicker seems to have at least helped it a little bit, enough to get the corners out. Hopefully my rambling throughout this entire game is giving some of y'all at least an idea. as often as I'm missing at the bottom. And that's something I've never done in my career. Never had my fingers spread out like this. Now let's, I'll show you, I'll throw that purple hammer. We'll make the three and two. See the difference. And this is my weaker purple hammer too. It's my five inch pen. I like, I really like the look of that 
buffalo. Yeah. Pretty sweet. There's just sometimes it just wants to either hook just a little early or comes behind it just a pinch. But if you catch it, it goes. It gets through it.